Let's get some uh, sport now. And in 100 days' time, the 2012 London Paralympics will get underway. More service personnel than ever are in line to take part, although for many there'll be a nervous wait until July to see if they've qualified. John Knighton looks now at some of the contenders. The 2012 Paralympics will be the biggest ever with more than 4,000 competitors expected to be at the opening ceremony on August the 29th. Injured servicemen were there at the start of it all when 16 war veterans took part in the archery competition at Stoke Mandeville in 1948, the birthplace of para sport and regarded today as the home of the Paralympics. In Afghanistan at Lashkagar, the provincial reconstruction team marked the final countdown with 100 personnel running a mile round the perimeter of the camp. Entry fees donated to Blesma. It's a sporting competition so close to the hearts of British forces. In the Paralympics, and especially Blesma, is such a great charity, so we wanted to, to support Blesma, so we thought, perfect, let's do it for the Paralympics rather than the main Olympics. And there could be more than a dozen injured service personnel lining up to compete in London. The bulk will come from the army, including the majority of the SIT volleyball team, which will include Netra Rani, Api Matayavi, Charlie Walker and Sam Bowen. In track and field, Kusha Limbu from two Royal Gurkha rifles is just three-tenths of a second off a qualification time for the 100 metres. He's hoping to compete for Nepal. Derek Dernalaghi continues to impress in the discus. The double amputee who inspired the founding of Help for Heroes has already thrown the Olympic qualifying distance and is already seen as a potential medalist. Leading the RAF Paralympic Challenge in pistol shooting is Pam Granger, who began her sporting quest as a skier. After only two years in the sport, she has a genuine medal chance if she makes the team. Although the team themselves have, have, have earned 11 slots this year, which is only second to Korea, which is fantastic, we beat the Chinese and everyone else, uh, but the, the IPC, the International Paralympic Committee, have split it to eight guys and three girls, yet there's 12 women on the team, so obviously selection this year is going to be extremely difficult, um, but all I can do is shoot my best and be at the top of my game, and if I'm selected, I'm selected, and that's my aim. Out on the water, the Army's Nick Beaton is expected to keep up the huge tradition in rowing, competing with Sam Scohan in the pairs. And on the cycle track, former airman John Allen Butterworth could well be pedalling to a podium. Some of our forces athletes, though, will face an anxious wait until July before the British squad is announced, and they can hopefully go for Paralympic glory. John Knighton, Forces News.